What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. A few months ago, Somniac was hacked, right? And so they leaked out a bunch of stuff and stuff like that. Most of the, some of the files were encrypted, but I guess now the hackers have unencrypted um, the files. And so more and more things came out. Like yesterday, I dropped a video about how like the great web and like the Spider-Man multiplayer trailer came out and was leaked out and stuff like that. Now they have more and more things came out. And it's basically like developer footage and stuff like that, the things they have planned for Marvel Spider-Man 2. And so you can tell by the title, I genuinely believe Sony has ruined this game. And let me put it this way before people start hopping in my comments. Let me give context. So the stuff that was leaked and revealed that's all over social media is stuff that they removed from the game, like cut content. Basically, some of the things they cut were destructible environments. Like you're fighting, like Spider-Man's in a fight. He gets sent through a building and stuff like that. You're throwing him through walls, stuff like that. Also, Venom will jump in randomly during random events and attack you throughout the city. You know, the stuff that was on like the poster and stuff like that were like, Venom is fighting Miles and Peter Parker at the same time, right? Even even if it was the statue or something like that, right? And so that was seemed to be the 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 main point of the video that was leaked to showing up all the cut content and how like the villains were more spontaneous in attacking you and just the amount of stuff that was just cut. And I think Sony ruined this game because you see the potential. Like the game as is, and I I want to say this before anyone hops in the comments, what the game uh as is is great it's okay but the only reason it's okay because it works like the game works it's a it's a workable game i'm not saying it like the game is unpolished it's unfinished it's no man's sky launch it's cyberpunk at launch no but that is the bare minimum that is the entry to the building you know what i mean marvel spider-man 2 had the potential to be one of the greatest spider-man games of all time this if we really sitting down and thinking about it is not cracking top five and we if we're being honest here like, let's be honest here okay it's not cracking top five. It's mediocre at best, okay? Because the things they could have done were cut out. When you have Tony Todd coming out and say, yeah, they cut 90% of my lines and, you know, half the majority of the scenes that I did will never be in the game and you will never see it. It's like, bro, why would I be, ex why am I happy for that? Like, and you even have the creative director and Insomniac saying this. Like, I think back, <laughs> can't believe I'm telling the story. I remember when we were, there was one part in the project where we realized that the last, the back half of the game was, we weren't going to make it. Like we weren't going to hit the quality bar. And, you know, and uh, we had a very, I want, it wasn't, I'll say heated, but it wasn't heated. Like we were arguing, like we were just, I was like frustrated that we weren't going to get everything done. And I remember it was a Sony, our Sony producers, it was Mark, Ara, Grady, uh, Joe kind of saying, guys, we're not, we're not there every single day, but we see it. And Jeanette has confirmed it. Like we're, we're not going to get all the way there. And I had a really, I will say an emotional reaction to that talk. And then I stepped back for like five minutes. And I remember as people were talking on the zoom call, I was taking, I was just like, like, um, scribbling down how we could basically if we cut these things, how we connect it all back. I was just made it objective. I'm like, how, okay, does any of this stuff impact the pillars of the game? No. Can we reconnect these pieces with minimal rework or, you know, can, cause you know, you don't want to make a scope decision that cr creates more scope, right? Cause that can happen times too. And you just did like a, like a, uh, like the napkin sketch of what it could do. And I was like, and then five minutes later, I'm like, all right, let's go. After having that emotional reaction. When you have the creative director tell you verbatim that, oh yeah, Sony told us like, yo, we're not going to reach the quality that we want in the game. And it's like, bro, like how can you not look at a game and see waste of potential? This is the definition of waste of potential. And I'm not even to get into the story. Like I have a video made about how... I don't think Marvel Spider-Man 2 is that good. And I'm not saying it as a hater because I bought, like, I, I know people are going to hop in the comments, call me an Xbox fanboy or whatever. I bought the Spider-Man, like, PlayStation edition of the PS5, okay? I, I spent 600 bucks on this, okay? I wanted this more than anybody on the planet to be good, all right? Don't come here coming and telling me, oh my god, you just wanted to hate the game from the beginning. I spent so much money on this, I, I wanted this to be good. So I can scream from the rooftop, this is good, okay? But it's just not that good. It's not, after the post hype, playing this game and New Game Plus has been dragging, okay? And I'm not even gonna get into the points where we've been saying since uh, Spider-Man 2018, which is 
the non-Spider-Man missions are ass. I'm sorry. It destroys the pace of the game, okay? You can't have a game that's built on fast-paced movement and combat and then halt it randomly for a character that doesn't do that. I don't care. The Venom section, while cool when you first play it, is a drag. The MJ sections, it's a drag. It's like, bro, these things need to be cut, okay? I'm so And then... All the other things where villains getting killed off screen and the whole Venom arc in the last act was completely rushed. And you can tell the the amount of things that would have been way better if they really just delayed this game one to two more years would be in static. But they're not going to do that because they have so many games that's in the pipeline that they have contracts for that have to be out by a certain day that they're cooked. Okay, this is Insomniac is cooked, bro. Like, let's say Venom comes out and it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be good, right? I'm not gonna say it's gonna be bad, but let's say there's quality issues. Let's say there is this and third where it doesn't make sense or the story is not as good as you wanted it to be. It's, it's, a, it's an act to this, it's an act to Sony, okay? They saw uh, Spider Man 2018 doing good. They're like, okay, this company is only gonna do superhero uh, properties, okay? And you you already seeing in the second game how bad this is turning out, and we need, we need to talk about something like security because god damn they get hacked more than a elementary school like what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? Like you know how amazing it was when the Spider Man 2018 EA demo showed where like he's running through a coffee shop and he f jumps out a window and he lands on a truck and do that stuff like that. This is what they could have had. Okay, this is what. The potential they had, and they actually had the technology for it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the only thing that's stopping Spider-Man 2018 from blowing this game out the water is because the web swing swinging is so slow because the technology it was developed for it was holding it back. And you've seen that now by uh, the PS5, how fast it is, right? Ten times faster. But the potential is there. There's no more... Hand you, can't, you can't say there's handicaps now because we have the technology now. We have the means to make these things great. And... It's being pushed aside because they want to rush to a holiday date. And yes, they made a lot of money. But we were completely robbed, bruh. And when something is unfinished and un and unrealized and you see it. Like, if we didn't see the thing, it would be, it would be kind of different. Even though they said they were rushed the entire time. Now we're seeing what we're missing. It's like, yo. Like, it, I'm really looking around like, bro, Sony just screwed us. The more and more stuff comes out, the more I feel like I spent, like... Well, let's say for the common person that's bought the Spider-Man game, spent seventy dollars for literally an unlike realized product of what could have been, and it's very upsetting to think about, like the amount of potential this game had to be great, like writing and story of side. The more and more stuff comes out gameplay wise, that is like, oh, we had to do this and a third, but Sony made us. We had to reach this date. It's like, bro, come on. Now, I'm not saying there isn't a way for them to slowly add this stuff like do a cyberpunk update where it's like oh everything you saw and wanted yeah this is what um we are putting out now this is what you know you can now play this version of the game that you saw or whatever um but i doubt that because they they're focused on wolverine because wolverine has come out in two years and they don't want another thing like this where it's like okay you have another you know wolverine game you know what i mean it's kind of like it has to succeed to our expectations or, you know, reach, you know, the dollars that Sony wants and it can't be mid, you know? So, unless they want to stretch themselves thin, which is what I said the last game, uh, video about the multiplayer game. Where it's like, if you want them to focus on the multiplayer game, you're taking uh, creative, you know, people and their ideas and putting them in this box where, like, they can really help you with the stuff that you really want to push out next. So, I don't really think they're gonna, you know, do what I'm hoping for. Like, if they release a director's cut where it's 100% finished, I don't think that's going to happen, bro. And the fact that they're... Uh, if they if they do do that and they're charging us for it, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm, I, might, I might crash out. I might crash. I might spaz out a little bit. Because now you're, you're telling me, oh, you paid 20 X dollars for the content that we cut because we couldn't... Uh, because Sony want to rush us for our money. Fuck out of here, bro. Like, that's, that's, that's the problem I have, bro. And I know what people are going to say. 
But let me tell you this, the barrier of quality goes up higher, the higher the prices go up. And it's not my fault that the, the, the company, the studios came out bitching and moaning, talking about, oh, making games is so expensive, so we got to hike up the prices. Once it goes up 70, uh, 70 bucks, 80 bucks, 100 bucks, I want my product to be better. That's like someone giving me a shitty sandwich, talking about, well, listen, it's hard to make a sandwich. I don't give a fuck. If I paid for how much you, you're you charging your sandwich to be, I want it to be a good sandwich. Gaming is the only medium where they give you shit or they give you half ass shit. Not saying Spider-Man's half ass, but I'm saying like mediocre to low quality stuff. And then people be like, well, what do you expect? Like, why are you being so bad? I don't develop it. It's so hard to make a game. I'm not saying it isn't. But if I'm spending the amount of jar that they are begging and bitching about, and I still can't get a complete product, that's an issue, okay? They want 70 plus dollars from me. I want a complete game. I want a game with all the features. I don't care how long it takes. I'm not saying I need this. I need a game like this every year. That's insane. But no, if I'm waiting for half a decade or more for a game, I want all the features in the fucking game. Is that too hard to ask for? <laughs> Some people are so delusional. It's like, bro, you're just asking for too much. But they need to stop asking for my money, okay? That's it. Like, and I don't, let. that's why people are not buying as many games as they usually do. Because you're increasing the prices, the quality is not up there, and why spend money for something where you find out, hey, have the shit you want in the game is not even in there. It's like, bruh. Sony literally ruins every product that they have that's successful. It is insane. Y'all ever think about that? Like, how crazy it is? Anything that is positive that's in Sony, they find a way to snuff it out. It's like... It's like WB, like they're alert, they're horrible with money. They're they're allergic. Like the day that Sony, as a company, like I'm sorry, when it gets absorbed by something else, I'm a, I'm be laughing. I'm be I'm be happy. Like when Fox was getting purchased by Disney, I was clapping it up. <laughs> I was I was hype walking around talking about X Men is free now. You know what I mean? But those are my thoughts. Let me know down below what y'all think. If y'all like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to hit thousand subs by the end of the year, and I'm out. Peace.